Hello friends, welcome to another session. So today I am going to show you RFID, Arduino RFID project. So I have already uploaded one video in YouTube, but I got many questions from my friends, from you and from my friends regarding they are facing some problem while connecting all this RFID. So today I will be addressing all the questions and the solution why the problem you are facing. So without delaying, let us dive into and explore the questions, what they have given. So let us answer the questions. So the first question is how to connect all the components. So if I tell you the all the component connection, if you go to GitHub, so I have already given the GitHub repositories. So if you come to my GitHub, so I have given here all the connections. So what are the required components? So I have written clearly what the pins, for example, if I talk about RFID, so here if you see all the pin names, so all the pin names are written here, okay? So for all the pins, I have written here the code. For example, CC, you have to connect 3.5 volt of Arduino. If I take this Arduino board, in case I, I kept this Arduino board in a cover, so you can see this is our power pins. So you will find here 3.3 volt pin here right so similarly ground so in arduino board you will find here two ground and here one ground so any one ground you can connect i have already connected here you can see the connection here how i have connected all the things all the components how i have connected so i have written clearly all the things here yeah rfid connection uh, then light connection lcd connection all the connection i have written here very clearly you can follow and you can finish the connection like this so your next question is regarding lcd so generally generally the lcd what you will get in the arduino kit it will be like this so you have to you have two choice some lcd you will be getting like this or some lcd you will be getting like this so if you are getting this type of lcd then you have to connect this uh, i2c circuit so this i2c circuit you have to just fix here with the pins so you can see here the pins and you have to fix so sometimes you need to solder so if you solder this one you will get the lcd like this right at the same time this rfid of course it you have to solder you have to solder rfid you have two choice either you can solder like this or you can solder like this so basically i prefer so that it will be standing straight so your next question you are facing some problem while connecting this RFID and LCD. For that, what I want to show you, if you go to Arduino, once you are going to Arduino, you have to download the libraries. So in order to download the libraries, you will go here. Once you are going here, so here, this is the library. So once you are going, so if you want the library for this RFID, then you have to write C, five double two if you write you will find a lot of libraries i have already downloaded this one so you have to download the install the library again you have to add similarly for this lcd you have to download the library for lcd also then you have to write luq uid so you can download liquid crystal i have already downloaded this one so you can download and install the library so finally i have already told you how to download the libraries for the different components now you are facing sometimes problem for the connection now let us go to connection system then i will show you what are the problems that you are facing so once you complete all the things then we can let me start from the beginning so for this i will take the code 
I can write the code, but code writing, it will take a long time. That is why I have written the code and stored here in my GitHub. So you can take the code from here, you can copy, then you go to here, then you paste the code, then select the board, then you run. So now our project is ready. So then if I take the tag, you can see it is telling access denied if i take another tag the access denied so now let us find out how to find out tag id with help of the code so to find out the tag id i have written the code here you can go to here you can go here so you will find out this code and you can copy here then we can go i can create one more file a new file new sketch so here i will paste then if i run here i will run the serial monitor here so now if i take the tag you can see we can get the card id card uid so this card uid so this is the card uid so i want to input the card uid so if you come to the main sketch so yeah here, here you have to use the uid so here the uid is fc the uid is always written in this format so i will change here then i will write fc again here fc 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 de to be then i will write here de then i will write here to be so as per the tag id i have already written the tag id here remember this is the place authorized authorized uid right so you will always write this one here before void setup before void setup you will find one line here and you have to write the authorized uid so once it is written then again i will run here so we have allowed this card i mean it is authorized so now if i scan yes access granted once again access granted and the green light you can see once here access granted and the green light and for this one we have not authorized so you can see access denied and the red light so your next question is regarding lcd type connection so sometimes if your lcd type is not recognized you may be facing problem so i want to show you how to solve that problem so this is my i2c liquid crystal lcd so this address is 0 into 27 so you should find out the address of the lcd how to find out for that i have of course given the code here so if you come here written here arduino code to scan as uh, to scan i2c device so if you click here you will come to the code you can you can go here you can copy the code then again you can you can come here again you can file the new sketch then you can paste the code here then if i run then i will open the serial monitor the serial monitor will show yeah so scanning for it i2c device and device found to be 0 0.27 sometimes sometimes your your device may be recognized by 0 into 27 or 0 into 38 38 whatever it may be it will be from 1 to 127 so in that case you have to change here you have to write only you have to change this this format so if you change you can you can find out the solution so you can put the code here only this place so once you put then you can you can get the solution and next your question is that related to project so this is the basic arrangement and you can make a lot of project uh, with help of these things so if you really want me to give some creative idea or new ideas how to this is the basic the raw idea so with help of this idea we can design many projects so if you really want me to support you in this case then definitely so you know always i answer the questions what you ask me for the solution so if you really want you can write in the comment box because i don't know what you want actually so if you write in the comment box then i can definitely make some new and creative ideas for 21st century and i can give you some idea i can make some new project for for you or for your kids 
right? So I hope I answered all the questions. So still, if you have any questions or if you find any problem to any related to this project, Arduino or Raspberry Pi or anything NVIDIA, so then you can write in the comment box and definitely I will make dedicated video for you and let us go together. Thank you. Thank you very much.